Hey, what's going on, everybody? Zach here with Brandon Wild Pickups, and welcome back to another episode of Rewind Time. Uh, so today, we have a Fender Telecaster pickup. Uh, this one happens to be from around 1970. I think that's what the guy said, and that looks about right. Uh, so, this one, just like the set of PAFs we did last time, has been subject to some modification over the years. Uh, this is not an original pickup. Uh, we're going to do our best to get it back to at least what it should be. Uh, let's see if it works. I don't know if it works. Let's see. It does work. 8.6, which is pretty hot. That's way too hot for uh, one of these. It probably sounds okay. I mean, when you get a tele bridge that's a uh, little bit overwound, it does kind of help the bottom end some. Uh, but, you know, with a vintage pickup, you want it to be the right spec. So, 1970, we have a gray bottom, right? Which you start seeing sometime in mid-1964. They went from the black to the gray. And uh, this one should, if I lift the little uh, plate here on the bottom, have an ink stamp, which it does. And it's four digits. Okay, that's good. Can't really see that. You'll see it once I have the thing off. Uh, but yeah, it does have PVC wires at this era which started, uh, what, 69, 70, probably 70. Uh, but these actually are not right. Uh, it should have a yellow and a black versus a white and a black, so these are not original. Uh, it's got this funny, uh, like, tape, shiny tape around the coil. That's not right. And the wire color is like a poly. It's like an orangish sort of color. Uh, yeah, so this has definitely been rewound at some point with entirely the wrong specs so we're gonna fix that uh yeah we're just gonna take this thing apart we're just gonna go ahead and peel the wire off of here there's no point in even doing anything else because it needs to have plain enamel wire so let's get this thing apart all right guys here we have the telecaster pickup uh we got it all stripped and starting to clean it up uh get it prepped for rewind uh so it's pretty clean check that out Hardly anything on the magnets, which is kind of unusual for one of these. A lot of times uh, you'll see corrosion on the magnets on these old Fender pickups. And uh, nine times out of ten, if you have a dead vintage Fender pickup, or even modern, I've seen modern ones too, it's corrosion on these magnets that have killed the coil. And you usually can't save it uh, every once in a while, but it's rare. So, yeah, it looks like this was lacquer potted. I see some lacquer on here, which would have been right for the, the era. I've seen them not potted at all as well. Um, ooh, that's a little loose. So the top flat works a little loose there. We'll have to fix that. Uh, anyways, yeah, looks pretty good. There's our ink stamp on the bottom there. They didn't have any tape on the magnets between the, uh, the magnets and the plate. You do need a piece of tape right there, which we can do. No problem. Uh, so when I peeled the wire off at this thing, I actually found what I believe to be form bar wire. Uh, but this is like 43 gauge form bar, I think. It's definitely not 42, and it's a super, super thin coil. Definitely not original. You can actually see in here a mark of where the original wire would have sat, like how far it filled the bobbin, and it was a lot more than that. So that's not original. we got to fix that. So I am going to fix this loose flat work, insulate the magnets, clean this thing up, and we are going to get it on the wire. Wire? We're going to get it on the winder and put some 42 gauge plain enamel on this thing. So let's go do that. Okay, guys, so we got our rewound coil here, our nice 42 gauge plain enamel wire. And I went ahead and wound it up to about the mark uh, where you could see on the flat work where the original wire was. Uh, so this thing should be about the same output as it was when it left the factory. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get this thing finished up, and then we'll come back and wrap things up. All done, guys. Check it out. Our 1970 Fender Telecaster pickup. Uh, restored back to the way it should be. So it's going to be around 6.5K, which is great. We have our correct black and yellow PVC lead wires with our correct white string around the pickup instead of that ugly tape. And uh, we aged the string a little bit too, you know, got some dirt and grime on there because it's an old pickup. It should look a little bit old. We got nice strong magnets. It's going to sound really nice. 
Uh, so yeah, the owner's going to be really happy because not only does it look correct now, it's going to sound right too. And uh, yeah, it was fun. There you guys have it. Uh, so be sure to check out some of my other videos. Uh, we do a lot of vintage guitar demos, pickup demos, other pickup restorations, cool pedals like Klons and stuff. There's all sorts of stuff on there. Uh, you can check that out on either here on YouTube or there on Facebook as well. And if you're watching on Facebook, check out my YouTube channel. Uh, it's called uh, Zach Oswald, which is my name. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you guys on the next episode. Take care.